Don't be alarmed. It's only a laser sword fight. Don't be scared. It's only the Death Star destroying another world. Relax. It's only a movie, and it's all for fun. Director George Lucas and 20th Century Fox present... Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Don't be alarmed. It's only the death breath of the Dark Lord. Don't be scared. It's only an Imperial cruiser making the jump to light speed. Relax. It's only a movie, and it's all for fun. Director George Lucas and 20th Century Fox present... Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. There is nothing new under the sun, but under the small green fourth moon of Yavin. There is quite a different story. <laughs> Director George Lucas and 20th Century Fox present Star Wars. Luke Skywalker is on a daring mission to rescue a beautiful princess and all he needs is a little help from his friends. Han Solo, space pirate, and Chewie, his giant Wookiee, C-3PO, human relations cyborg, and his counterpart R2-D2, and the mysterious Jedi Knight. Never before in the history of movies has so much time and technology been spent just for fun. Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Get Star Wars posters at Burger Chef. R2-D2, hurry up. That's right. Four posters featuring the stars of Star Wars are at Burger Chef. <laughs> We'd like a Star Wars poster, please. R2, it's our lucky day. It's us. Just buy a large serving of Coca-Cola for 49 cents at participating Burger Chefs, and a Star Wars poster is yours to control. There are four spectacular full-color Star Wars posters in all, so start your collection today. R2, I think we'd better leave. Star Wars posters, only at Burger Chef, while supplies last. You remember last time, R2-D2 was sent by the lovely Princess Leah with an urgent message for Ben Kenobi. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. With a tiny rebel starship under heavy attack, R2 and C-3PO flee to the planet below. Will they make it? Will they find Ben Kenobi before Darth Vader finds them? Find out in the next thrill-packed commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Meanwhile, back on the Rebel Starship, the lovely Princess Leah is brought before the evil Darth Vader. Will he force her to tell the location of the Rebel base? And what's to become of R2-D2 and C-3PO as they hurtle toward the desert planet of Tatooine? Find out in the next thrilling commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG, parental guidance suggested. Somewhere on the barren desert planet of Tatooine, our little hero R2-D2 and C-3PO are searching for Ben Kenobi. <laughs> Suddenly, they're attacked and captured by the sinister yellow-eyed Jawas. Will they be sold for scrap? Will they escape to find Ben Kenobi? Find out in the next heart-stopping commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG, parental guidance suggested. In our last thrilling commercial, old Ben Kenobi had just rescued young Luke Skywalker from the savage Tusken Raiders. It is now some time later as they discover the burned out remains of a Jawa sand crawler. Fearing the worst, Luke races for home in a desperate attempt to save his aunt and uncle. What will he find? Stay tuned for the next commercial for Star Wars, rated PG, parental guidance suggested. 
when last we left Luke, Ben, R2, and C-3PO, they had gone to the Moss Eisley spaceport, searching for a pilot who can take them to Alderaan. But once inside a murky bar crowded with bizarre aliens, Luke is attacked by a vicious killer. Can Ben Kenobi save the boy before it's too late? Will they find their pilot in time? Don't miss the next spine-tingling commercial for Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Okay, the memory card just ran out, so just looking at the back of this 20 back A uh, Death Squad Commander, these are the items that were available. You could get the collector's box, the Dewback, the Sandcrawler playset, or Land of the Jawas, Droid Factory, and the Creature Cantina. And there's the figures. Oh yeah, the memory card ran out, that's why I had there's a bit of a pause. Okay, so this is the front of the card. We've got a Death Squad Commander there. We changed the name because Death Squad Commander sounded a bit too, um, you know, a bit too violent for a, ch a, ch a child's action figure. They changed it to Star Destroyer Commander or Star Destroyer Captain. And, but the figure's really good. So... I mean, the head sculpt's pretty good, the helmet looks pretty decent, and the body's very in, in good proportion. So, out of all those first 12 figures, this is probably the best sculpted, because it looks much more advanced than the other 12 figures, or 11 figures. And it was only, it was only when Boba Fett came along that maybe Boba Fett, that figure sculpt was as good as this. So, the reason why people should pick up this figure is that it is probably truly the first modern action figure in the way that it's sculpted and, you know, everything's in proportion. The legs aren't, like I just said earlier, the feet aren't facing directly forward. If you look at the Stormtrooper, it's in a sort of rigid uh, attention I mean, this guy still looks like he's standing in, in attention, but still, he's more. He just looks far more modern. The helmet looks pretty cool. Face sculpt is good. Uh, Gentle Giant has just released a 12-inch jumbo version of this figure, so that might be something you would want want to consider. I mean, since then, this figure has never been re-released like this. We've had the Imperial Navy troops, but they've always had a black uniform. We've never had it with the great grey outfit and uh, black gloves and black boots. Classic figure though. And classic image on the card. Death Squad Commander or an Imperial Trooper with a, one of those co controller, controller helmets. Uh, on board the Death Star. So this is a classic, classic figure. Very good. If you wanted to get this in a 12 back, you're going to pay quite a lot for this. On a 21 back Death Squad Commander uh, name, on the Empire Strikes Back card, you're going to pay a lot for that as well. So, very nice figure though. Classic, classic. Kenner. There's the grade and the detailing. Very nice item. So, Death Squad Commander. Classic figure, for one of the first 12. And just looks really nice. Okay, here we've got on the Empire Strikes Back card, we've got Greedo. And I've shown photographs of this before, but I've never really done a review of this figure. And it's on a US Kenner card, it's grade 80. And um, 
card gets 85, the bubble gets 80, and the figure gets 90. So there's a slight yellow tinge to the bubble now. And I've got this pretty cheap actually. And these go for a lot more than, than what I paid for it these days. So really nice. That picture there of Greedo with a green background just looks amazing. And this is on the second release card, Empire Strikes Back card. First came out on a Star Wars 78 back and then 70, I mean uh, 20 back <laughs> and then 21 back and then onto the Empire Strikes Back card. Greedo's a fantastic figure. Um, the head sculpt is brilliant. Really captures the look of the, our favourite Rodian and we've got the green costume there which isn't very movie accurate but as a um, you know a product of the 70s this is very 70s it's got a sort of knee high boots um, almost a rubber rubberized suit the sort of thing you'd go disco dancing to in the 70s I guess dancing your way to ABBA and all that sort of stuff so maybe this was uh, Greedo's disco dancing outfit, you know, uh, or staying alive. Uh, <laughs> not that he did stay alive. Famously a bounty hunter, uh, very controversial because of what George Lucas did with the special editions, making um, Greedo firing first, and you know, completely, completely ludicrous, really, because. If you're standing right in front of someone, or sitting in front of someone, uh, how can you miss? Uh, this is just absolute nonsense on George Lucas's part that he didn't want Han Solo to seem so ruthless. Obviously, Han Solo's a cool character, and obviously he shot first, so he's going to take out Greedo any day. You know, he's not going to let this sort of bug-eyed green quitter take him out. Han Solo's a cool dude. And, and when you, and you know, and you're living in a sort of society like that, you have to, you can't take risks. You have to take out these guys before they take you out. You know? It's like living in the ghetto, I guess. <laughs> you know? Or living in Basildon. <laughs> anyway, Greedo here, um, the image on the card is just fantastic. Uh, card is a uh, high grade, it's 85, so this is a pretty flawless card. Unpunched. Uh, it looked better on a Star Wars card, obviously, but it still looks good on the Empire Strikes Back card. And the figure looks really nice. And the bubble is very nice, apart from slightly yellowing now. Uh, I got this for a good price. I don't know why people weren't bidding on this, but you know, this is a couple of years ago anyhow, so, but, you know, and then, if we turn the card around, you can see that it's a 41 back D card, so, gone are all the little boxes with the different coloured backgrounds for each figure, which look, I prefer those, now you've just got the blue backgrounds and all the figures displayed together. And there's 41 to collect, and we've got a list at the bottom of all the 41 figures, and then different items you could get, which are all Empire Strikes Back sort of toys. You've got the Snow Speeder, the Hoth playset, all the turret, robot thing, mini rigs, attack, and the Hoth attack base, Imperial attack base. Um, and then you've got proof of purchase and all that sort of stuff, blah blah blah. So this is when. Uh, Kenner w went from doing sort of individual sh figure shots to going to a group photo and that's going to be how it's going to be done for the rest of the Empire Strikes Back cards all the Return of the Jedi uh, Power of the Force and Tri Logo so, so it's just mainly because there was so many more figures coming out so after 41 backs you get 45 backs then you get 47 backs and then you get 48 backs and you get the move to Jedi. So Jedi cards, uh, you can get them with 48 backs as well. And 
and palatoy cards you can get jedi cards with 45 back okay so let's turn the card around one more look at this fabulous item greedo the orange background behind the figure brilliant very green figure I'm thinking um, E.T. Uh, Elliot calls the figure when he's showing uh, E.T. stars because he calls him Green Greedo and you can see why he calls him Green Greedo. So, very nice uh, graded Greedo there. Popular figure. The only known variation is the tri-logo variation, which is meant to be a darker green. And that comes on a hybrid card. I mean, I've got one on a hybrid card, but it's not, it's not the variation figure. But this just looks really nice. And the photograph's just amazing. You could get this on a vintage collection, uh, the V, what is it, 2006? I think they really released this card again with the Modern, modern version of Greedo. I've got that as well. Okay. So say goodbye to Greedo. Well, he's going to get shot, isn't he? Anyway, cheers. Okay, here we've got Akrev on a Legacy Collection 2008 Builder Droid card. And this figure is really good because just the paint job on the costume is just amazing. Look at all the different tassels, the colours, the sort of intricate patterning on the trousers, the detailing on the drumsticks, the detailing on the chest, the shirt, the costume, the sort of wraparound belts, the nicely detailing on the face. It's sort of, sort of Wike character, Wike, and he plays the drums in Jabba's Court in the sort of um, new scenes from Return of the Jedi from the special editions and this figure just amazing paint, it, paint detail on this just look at the stripes on the, the top around the chest and all that sort of stuff looks like he's even got a sort of necklace on as well so fantastic figure there amazing amazing detail um, got this from play.com a couple of years ago it's about the only cheap figure they were selling and look at the belt as well the detailing there the blue fastener it just looks amazing comes with uh, uh, half the drum so you can join this with uh, Umpa Stay with Gong from the 2007 uh, 30th anniversary collection you can have one drum on one side the other drum on the other side so nice nice figure looks quite nice on the card and I'm starting to like these cards more than I did at the time especially figures like these two sort of Han the Luke from the deleted scene Chewbacca's also from the deleted scene uh, everyone's favourite there Gargon Bane Mala, I've got that one as well comes with a droid part which is a leg for R7Z0 and it's quite a nice figure, Droid Factory Akreg is one of the drummers in the band that provide musical entertainment for Jabba the Hutt's Palace Court the Wike's serious demeanour hides an angry na na nature he's always ready for a fight along with fellow drummer Umpa Stay Akreg survives the debacle of the pit at the pit of C Cocoon ok so this is Akreg uh, Builder Droid 5 on a Legacy Collection 2008 card easy to find won't cost you much either great figure though especially if you are into completing a Jabba the Hutt diorama which I know a lot of you are great figure ok here we've got Katu Skiff Guard and this is a rather shabby card it's from the second release of Return of the Jedi figures and so it's the second version of Clatoo 
and this figure's not as good as the first version of Kutu, but it's still quite a decent figure. And if you're a vintage collector, you've got to have this one. Um, I, I, for a long time, I only had this on the Tri logo, which has slight differences in the card, like the background is blue rather than orange. But apart from that, and the picture's slightly different framing. Uh, this is an easy figure to find, it's going to be very cheap. Uh, like this card here, I don't think I paid more than £15 for it. So, you know, that's cheaper than some um, modern figures. The reason why this isn't a very popular figure, it's sort of one of the sort of, along with Nikto, uh, sort of considered quite a nondescript character. I, I guess now it will gain in popularity, especially if there's a, a reissue of this figure in a sort of modern version, which there has been, so, you know. I think this has been released back in 97-98 uh, in a 3-pack as uh, Kutu Skiffguard. Uh, that was a 3-pack though, Power of the Force. And then this is the original though. It's quite a stocky body, reasonable detailing in the costume, uh, face is pretty indis indistinct, uh, got a sort of beige helmet, comes with a sort of staff, which is I think it's just gen generic Nikto staff, or maybe it's a bit longer than that, it's hard to tell which one that is. Uh, the back background picture is quite good, uh, it's a 77 back. So, 77 backs, as I said before, are the most common way of getting um, vintage figures. We've got the. Okay, this is the 77 back of Clitou. Uh The memories are going to run out now. So, this is just the very common.